Three common mistakes people make when they are trying to get shredded. Now, let's first address why do you want to get shredded in the first place? It's for one of two reasons, probably. You've finished your bulk and it's time to do a cut. A cut. Why do you want to get shredded? Because you're going to be going somewhere where you have your fucking top off. You're going to be going to some warm-ass country where there's fucking women and high respectable men there. And you want to look, you want to bring your absolute best fucking condition to that place. And rightly so. You've put all this time into bulking. You've built this tissue. You've fought tooth and fucking nail to take your incline barbell bench press from 80 kg to 92.5 kg, which is a lot beyond that movement. So, of course, you want to showcase all the tissue that you've built. And let me tell you, nothing more painful than not executing that to the highest of standards. This is not good enough. You go looking like this, you've not done yourself the best service you possibly could. This is 14, 15% body fat. You want to be going 8 to 10 max. Trust me when I say you want to be going 8 to 10 max. Why do I say this? And why is it important that you execute and get fucking shredded for your holiday? Well, let me show you something. And why it's important to sweat the small stuff. Now, I'm going to give you a quick example here. If you went at 15% body fat versus 10% body fat, how would your confidence be? More or less? Less, right? Okay, so if we're slightly less confident... Are we going to have as good of a time? You would argue, maybe not. So the overall holiday is going to be slightly worse. If we're slightly less confident, are you more likely to approach, and this may sound shallow, but 9 out of 10 women or 6 out of 10 women? Probably the 6, right? Which is going to do what for your overall self-image and confidence? Send it down. If you're, If you see other, like... Like, let's say you see guys that you think, we could probably get on as mates. You're in fucking good shape. You wear good kit. You look like you're, you're a decent guy. We could probably get on. But if you're not bringing the same condition that they have when you think you could have done that and you think you could get on, are you going to go and speak to them? Probably not. And then, now, you didn't speak to the highest quality woman you could do. You didn't speak to the best social level of circle you could do. So are you going to gain a lot from this holiday? Because a holiday is not just a time to go fucking inside out and get messy. In fact, I think that's a very stupid thing to just go and do. That I'm just going to go there and abuse my body. Like, why? Does that honestly bring you happiness? No, fucking human connection does leveling up your life. Brings you true happiness if you follow this channel anyway. So realistically, every time you go on holiday, a holiday is a beautiful thing because it condenses everybody into one area so and it's very the bar, the 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 barriers are very low people are quite social people are quite talkative so so there's a lot to gain from a holiday you could gain some very good connections are you going to get good connections with wh when we're in this trajectory no are you going to get the b best possible women probably not no so what's it going to do for your self image it's going to go down everything is going down why? Because you had slightly more fat around your midsection. And you could say, oh, no, this won't affect me. But you lie. If you've been 8 to 10%, or well, you probably not if you've not actually, if you are going at 15 because you would know how to get there. But honestly, when you know the difference between the two, there is a significant level of confidence. When you walk around crispy fucking shredded, of course you're going to feel more confident than when you are at this point here. So it, it's small, but it, it really, really matters. And no doubt you've got a certain time frame to get to the goal. So you can't really afford to miss. So making these three basic mistakes. Because the reason these people make these three mistakes I'm going to go through is because of a time frame to hit a certain goal. And I'll go on to that in a minute. Now, imagine you do execute it properly though. Imagine you go looking fucking shredded. What's that going to do for your confidence? Again, this now works. In, the beautiful thing is this works in reverse. I've spoke about the worst possible outcome, but if you nail it, if you get it right properly, think about how this can change your life. You go look at 8 to 10%. How's confidence? Fuck it. Probably better than it's ever been in your life. So you are now in a season of growth. You are massively like thinking, I look the best I've ever looked. How can I level up my life now? Okay, well, I'm going to speak to these best possible people because I'm feeling more confident. I'm feeling like I deserve to be in certain level of rooms because I look fucking great. Now you're in these level of rooms. What sort of opportunities could come from that for business, for networking, 
for also development, like personal development. What could come from it? A lot. So that, I mean, this graph here could go fucking on all the way up here because that is literally going to change the trajectory of your life. Obviously, and let's, let's say now you are more confident to approach different types of women, which is also going to raise your standard and self-image of, of quality of people you get. So that then starts to level up. So then you create a new circle, maybe just from being on this holiday, and before you know it, you're completely changing the trajectory of your life, all from going on one holiday, all because you had a little less body fat around your abs. I'll tell you how this has worked in my own life. I got shredded after being in Dubai for, for three months. And then I went and done a, like a, so I was shredding and then went and done like a, a meet up boxing event with, you may know this geezer here, Hamza. And because I was shredded, so my mindset was already of a fucking warrior and I had my ex army on the back of me, the person I was was more likable to be around. I can showcase, I can get in good shape. I can showcase mindset. People want to be around that. So obviously we got on and then I, lo and behold, I got introduced to more people. I'm sure you know a few faces uh, that are on this page here. So just by getting in good shape, you can completely change the trajectory of your life. So we can really see how fucking important it is to not miss and to hit your target and to get literally in the best shape of your life. So we can agree right now, moving forward from this video, the goal that we're both sharing is to get fucking shredded. Not to get lean, to get shredded so we look incredible when we're on this holiday. So there's three mistakes that people make, and I call it the three C's. The three C's of why people fuck it up. Calories, cardio, carbs. They are the main three reasons why people do not get inside out shredded. Let's fucking fix that so you're not going to make these mistakes and you're actually going to get to the goal point. Number one is calories. What, so, so bear in mind, bear in mind, you've got a 12-week time frame to hit. You are a certain level of body fat. You want to look incredible on this holiday. How's your mindset now? It's of everything at once, hard, fast, and aggressive, which is good. Keep that, harness it, but... If you play all your cards at once, carbs, calories, and fucking cardio, you will fuck it. I'll tell you now, you will fuck it. Not even from your own mindset. From a physiological standpoint, your body will fuck it for you. So how do we set our calories? It's going to depend on your level of leanness. I've made videos in the past on how to establish that. Check the one on uh, how to establish your body fat because it's important we do so. So your body fat will determine the calorie deficit you need to go in. If you're 17% body fat, 15% body fat, don't go too low on calories because you need to hold on to and retain as much tissue as possible. Unless you're really fat, then you can go low on calories because you've got so much store, so much energy to use. But you want to use that calorie target and pull from it sparingly. You do not want to go really low to start with because... After four to five weeks, when you start to plateau out, where the fuck are you going to go next? How are you going to continue to pull lower and lower? You, you can't. And then if you do that, what's going to dip? Training performance. The goal was not to get skinny. The goal was not to get smaller. The goal was to rip muscle, uh, rip body fat off the frame and keep and build tissue on there. I keep speaking about like the, the results I do to do this. Rip the body fat off the frame, keep and build the tissue. Rip the body fat off the frame, keep and build the tissue. That is the goal here. The goal is not to get small. The goal is not to get skinny. Here's one that's not finished yet. This one's not finished, but it's fucking not far off. And this is going to be a nice one. Um, oh, fucking hell. They're all popping up. Piss off. <laughs> so the goal was not to get skinny. So you need to keep that target as high as you possibly can. Now, you want to track the scale weight on a week-by-week -week basis and take your visual photos to know that you are making progress. You're going to want to see a 1% drop of the scale weight per week. Now, keep food as high as you possibly can. So that's, that's the first, make people, first mistake, probably the biggest mistake. People go really low on calorie thinking, if I go lower, loads of fat will come off. It doesn't work like that. It just doesn't work like that. That's like trying to put a cake in the oven, turn the heat all the way up, and thinking it'll be done in a fifth of the time. It just don't work like that, mate. All right, getting shredded is literally like fucking baking a cake. Do not take it out of the oven early. So calories is the first mistake. Don't go too low on calories. That's the main mistake. Do not do that. The next thing people do is they go cardio too heavy and too soon as well. Now I will say with your cardio, so you've set your calorie target. You know your time frame. You know how much you need to drop. What one percent of the week? 
1% drop of the scale weight per week looks like. Now, with your cardio, utilize the cardio first, but don't, so you've not gone low calorie and low car and high cardio, because that's just like, boof, because that's just fucking stupid. The cardio, you implement 20 minutes daily, something that is non-impact, doesn't accumulate fatigue. Cross trainer, treadmill on an incline, like walking, don't do running, and uh, a bike. Don't do runs outside. Don't do shit that's going to accumulate fatigue. And don't put the cardio so fucking high. Because again, these are all tools in your toolbox you're going to use to play with. So you're going to need to start at 20 minutes. When this, when you don't see uh, as much of a change, go to 30. And you're going to continue to do so. Before you know it, you'll be on 40, 50 minutes towards the back end. You're going to, you need to allow the body to see the change off the dosage you've given it, input from food, output from cardio, and then make the tweaks as you go on. Don't go really high cardio along with really low calorie. That's two of the C's that people fucking make the stupid mistake from. And you're going to suffer from it. Because again, you go too high, where do you go now? What, two hours a day? No, obviously you're not going to be able to sustain and do that. And, and where I'm going with this is when you stack the three C's together, you just fail. You just fucking fail. Low calorie, high cardio. And obviously we're going to go on to carbs now and it's low carbs. Of course you're going to fucking fail, mate. Of course you're going to fail. And the body will fail for you because you've played all your cards at once, spunked all your loads. Where are you going to go from there? How do, you, how do you get an adaptation? How do you get a change? You can't, can you? So the last one was carbs. Going too low carb too early. I hope you watched the last video. This goes into quite detail about why the carbs are important. Maybe the most important macronutrient for fat loss. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a toss-up between protein and carbs. But... Your protein obviously needs to be um, 2.4 grams per lean kilogram of body mass, roughly one gram per pound of body weight. Now, that is really, really important. And of course, it, is. it holds the tissue, repairs the tissue for as long as possible. But carbs drive performance in the gym. Numbers in the gym is the biggest reason you will build and retain tissue, not protein. Because without the resistance, there's no reason for the, the muscle to stay on your bones. There's, there's not, is that you wouldn't get bigger just from eating high protein, would you? So you know muscle training stimulus is the most important thing. What drives training stimulus and performance? Carbohydrates, energy. Now, maybe you, you, you can use fats to do that, but I can tell you now, carbs fucking metabolize a lot faster than fats and protein. It's just the way it is. Especially high GI carbs like fruit. You have them before the workout, boom, you're sharp. You're ready to fucking send it. If, the, if the, you can keep the, the stores of glycogen as full as possible, you're going to drive more performance in the gym. It's going to repair quicker. It's just the way it works. So with your carbs, you're going to want to keep them as high as possible for as long as possible to drive performance in the gym. And even when you get into the absolute depths of this diet, maybe it's smarter, as I spoke about in the last video, to pull slightly from protein to keep carbs higher to allow performance driven in the gym to retain the tissue from that way round. So don't think I need to go low carb because I'm going to lose loads of weight there. You'll lose water, you'll lose glycogen, and that will happen anyway. In your first week or two, you're not lost really body fat. You've lost muscle glycogen. You've lost water weight, um, water retention and whatnot. So don't go so fucking low carb. Like carbs are, carbs are quite important. I know they get a bad rap fucking because they make us like carb crash and turn you sleepy, but like just have them at the, the right times in the day so you can still do your work. Like right now, I'm fasted as fuck, it's nine o'clock. I've just had black coffee, I'm sharp between the eyes, but I'm gonna go and have my carbs before my training. Actually, it's a rest day. So I'm not training today, but still. Carbs, don't go too low on carbs. You go low carb, you fucking lose energy. You go high cardio, you fucking goose from your output. You go low calorie in general, you just feel like fucking shit. So, we need to do this sparingly. We need to do this tactically. I hope this video added clarity on what not to do when you're going through through the deficit. I've spoke about in the last video how to essentially keep the tissue on uh, and build tissue on the frame um, and, and many other videos that, that we've done on, on client results. But I will go back to the point of saying, sweat the small stuff because it may just fucking change your life. The next event you go on, you may just meet somewhere where if you were a little bit fatter and softer, you wouldn't have got in the conversations, you wouldn't have got in the room, and the trajectory of your life would not end up going in this path, and it's weird the way the fucking world works. So do not pay lip service to this. Get to 8 to 10% body fat before your event, holiday, whatever it is, you will thank yourself for it. 
Boys, if you found this useful, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, and also if you want me to do this for you because I fucking love this shit with my uh, coaching brand, there'll be links in the description. You can book a call and we can take it from there. See you tomorrow.